Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake Green. I'm the Head of Technical Engagement here at the Scarmore Group. I'm joined by my good colleague, Tim Benstead here. And today's video, we're going to be talking about ring versus radial. Yes, you heard it. <laughs> ring versus radial. Um, we've had a bit of a joke off camera with this one um, because it's kind of like, do we really need to be talking about this? However, the, the question has been posed to us where we've been into a consultant practice and they're saying, actually, we're moving away from ring mains and we're moving more towards radials and I'm kind of sitting there going, well, why? Why are people doing that? Um, the first sort of thing that cropped up for me, Tim, was really to do with art fault detection devices and the way that they operate, not necessarily protecting the circuitry, but protecting everything else that's mm -hmm. being plugged in, it, uh, plugged in on it when it comes to a uh, ring final circuit. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe that's the case. Um, but the guy said, no, just general practice now, we're sort of moving away from the from the ring main um, and, and fitting radials. So what do you think? Um, it, it's an old chestnut, isn't it, really? It is, it's, yeah. been, it's, it's been argued over for, for donkey's years, really. Um, and, and horses for courses, Jake, I think. Indeed. I think radial circuits provide you with levels of control. Uh, there tend to be uh, uh, fewer outlets uh, on them. Uh, and, and again, it allows you to... to Say you've got an AFDD or an RCBO that's, that functions, you don't lose everything. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas perhaps if you use a, a ring final circuit, then you, you lose a, a, a greater uh, extent of coverage. And so it could be a nuisance element associated with that. But generally, people, there's, there's very little to choose other than functionality. Um, the, the ring circuit, when it was introduced, is fine. Don't forget it was introduced to help uh, uh, post-war uh, the UK get uh, supplies into houses that often didn't have uh, uh, electricity supplied to them and, and it allowed for the whole house to be covered by, in effect, one circuit. My thing with it as well is that when we start to look at um, faults, so a lot of people doing EICRs, you've got a fault on a ring main, mm. at least you can separate it out into two radials. You can indeed. You can <laughs> indeed. If you've got a fault on a radial yeah. circuit, you are staying until you fix that yeah. and find that you fault. You can, that's so, right. Um, but... Just in terms of like the way that we now use our energy, is there a sort of a concern with the way that radials are structured? And what I mean by that is, let's say that it comes from a board and then the, the, the heaviest connected load is at the end. Yeah. Would that have any detrimental effect on the rest of the circuitry? It, it tends not to. I think the issue is perhaps people miscalculating or misdetermining the nature of those connected loads and, and, and assuming you can quite happily get away with a 2.5 millimeter squared uh, conductors mm. from the 20 amp uh, protected device and then sort of inadvertently, shall we say, overload the installation. And so suddenly you're starting to drive more current. And we know that 2.5 generally carries around, what, 25 to 27 amps, yep. depending on the conditions. Yep. But you can get to a point quite readily where you start to drive more current than it's actually designed to do. And, 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 and we mentioned off camera, didn't we, the nature of discoloration uh, and the problems that, that ensue from, from that overload. And they forget it, perhaps that they could always move up to four mil and a 32 amp supply and the cable again, four mil would be more than sufficient for such a condition. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if anyone in the comments is sort of moving away from ring circuits mm -hmm. and using four mil radials instead of a 2.5 mil radial. Again, it depends on, on obviously what's um, being installed. But we mentioned as well that the ring final circuit, the only time you can use a 32 amp device on a cable that's rated at 27 amps. So there's that benefit of it as well, that you can increase that and you don't have to increase the conductor size necessarily mm. as well. We just mentioned four mil perhaps. You don't really want to be running a four mil ring round. Yes, it's possible, mm. but the cost associated with it, we know that the cable is expensive um, at the moment when we're sort of releasing this video, but you know, that there's arguments for and against. The question I want to ask is, will the regulations ever change to move away from ring final circuits? As I said, it's an old chestnut. <laughs> and the discussions take place uh, every so often. But I, I, I don't think anything will change with regard to ring and radio circuits within 7671 in the near future not in the near future. So that's ring versus radial circuits. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure you like, subscribe and share and we'll see you on the next one.